My name is T. Bui. I'm the author of The Best We Could Do, an illustrated memoir. This book was a labor of love. It was basically a, a long love letter to my parents that I could never actually say to them in normal words. It was also a way for me to tell them things that were hard for me to explain to them about what it was like to be their child growing up, a child of immigrants who knew how much that they had sacrificed but didn't really understand what they had been through. So it was my way to explore who my parents were before they became my parents as a way to thank them and appreciate their experience and how it shaped me as a person. I find that sometimes opening up your own story to other people can help them be more honest in, in their relationship to you and sometimes memoir can sort of peel away the layers between people by letting one person just reveal their vulnerabilities and their weaknesses uh, so that others can see that it's okay to be human. While I tell a very specific story of one family from Southeast Asia and one country that experienced civil war and, and a bigger proxy war that tore it apart and sent people uh, across the world to find a safer, better life. What I want my readers to think about is how those same stories are still happening today with different names and different labels, but some of the fundamental things that went wrong in that history of Vietnam are issues that still go on today. I'd like for people who are thinking about the issue of immigration and what to do about the refugee crisis coming from Syria and elsewhere is to think about those people not as numbers or statistics, but as human beings who have a name and a history and a family and to really reach into their hearts and look for how to empathize with those people and put yourself in their shoes. I'm helping people connect to their own moral compass in times of great political division and um, heated debates about issues like immigration or deportation that we can cut through the political terminology that divides us and find the, the heart of the issues, find the humanity that connects us. I'd like for readers who have gone through an experience similar to mine to feel that they are home and that while things aren't ideal right now, this is a place that you can claim to be yours, that we are still building spaces that are healing and nurturing and empowering and that work is ongoing. What I'm really happy about is the opportunity to get to come and talk to you about my book that I got to share with you but also to hear about your experiences and how they connect or don't connect with mine and I'm so excited and happy to answer any questions that you have about things that might have confused you or intrigued you or your own projects that maybe you're working on. Thank you for reading my book. See you soon.